Okay, um, we're going to set up a uh, key grabber. Um, I put a shortcut to key grabber here, keygrabber.exe. You can find this in your Mach 3 folder. So I'm going to start it up. Okay, and uh, right now it, it, there's no default um, settings file because um, th this should be brand new. Uh, so you just say OK. And normally, when you when you start up, when you use this in the future for um, for controlling your CNC machine, you will you will hit this button here that says Start Mach 3, um, and that's how you would start Mach 3. Um, so right now, I have the Real Flight controller, which uh, uses a uh, a, a game port uh, connector, which I, I have a USB adapter for that. So it shows up as a HID, a, a human interface device controller. So you would click it, click this tab here, and then you would double click here, and it goes to yes, which means you've activated that device. And then you'll notice uh, the keys and the joystick tabs show up. Um, so, let me grab my controller. I won't be using keys, but you'll notice an interesting feature is that when you hit... See. see that? It jumped to button 2. That's because I moved button 2. Now that jumped to button 3. So, so that shows you what button uh, you, you have so you can uh, you can set it for something. Okay, so that's button one, button three, button two. But we're not using buttons. But if, for instance, if you wanted to do the uh, assign a button for shift to do the fast jog, you could you could assign a button this way. But but we're not using buttons because uh, the joysticks are proportional. Uh, it'll give you proportional jog speeds. So I hit the elevator. Okay. So you can see elevator is axis one. So I will set that to the x axis. So we'll set it here to the x axis. And I'll move the aileron so that which is two. So we'll set that to y. And then I'll use the rudder for z. And you can see. The rudder is uh, axis 3, so we'll set that to Z. And since I want fine control with Z, I'm going to set it to exponential. Okay, and then we're going to have to save this configuration file, so save config. Okay, and that's it for the key grabber config. And then we can open... Uh, we can start Mach 3 by hitting this button here. Okay. Okay, anytime. It's opening. Okay, so we'll hit we'll hit the reset button. I don't have a working uh, flat printer right now, so so that's why uh, the demo is just going to be with the Mach 3 screen. But you can you can see what's happening. Uh, okay, if you look if you look on here, you'll see. Hopefully, okay. So I'm moving the aileron. You can see that it moves the aileron. Uh, the Y. I'm, I'm moving the X. You can see. The elevator, and you see it moves the X. I'm moving the rudder stick, and you can see it moves the Z. So now the important thing is down here. This shows the actual speed. Okay, I'll move the the aileron over a little bit. It's got a nice dead spot in the middle, so you won't accidentally make it move. But okay, move it over just a little bit. Okay. So that that's about the slowest. I, I've just moved it over maybe like 
like a quarter of the way or maybe like an eighth or a quarter of an inch okay but you can see as I move the stick it gets it gets faster and if I move it all the way over it'll go all the way up to even though I think it's set for 120 probably because the the range um, you know it probably doesn't the joystick probably doesn't go full range that's why it only goes up to maybe about um, 111 I've seen it go to okay so I'll push it the other way so you so you have full control over the speed as you can see okay and, and the same thing with, with the X I'll move it up a little bit okay so, so you I, I can hold it right there so it's moving at like Generally, it's about it's about six that you can get it to. Uh, and that's also six to eight is a, is the lowest value. But that's because it has a linear setting. But I'll show you uh, the z-axis. I have exponential. So on the z-axis, let's see. Okay, you see that? One, I can hold it right there. One, whatever the unit per um, per per minute. See that? I can just a little bit. Then, or I can increase it and go all the way to the uh, to the end. Okay, there you have it. I think it's really neat.